Hi guys, uh, I'm Tiaren. I'm from Singapore Math Tutors. So today we're going to do yet another very uh, challenging question, or rather a question that a lot of students make careless mistakes in. Um, so this is one of them. So this is the one whereby uh, they give you the inequality of the certain number x and y. Okay, so what you have to do is to find the smallest possible value of this x square over y. So for part A, right, uh, we want to find the smallest possible value of x squared over y. So what we can do first is that uh, we would write out, uh, draw the number line out, so minus 9. Uh, it's a good habit to put 0 and then uh, 8. Okay, and then uh, for example y. Okay, so uh, your 0 is here. But then you have 1 and uh, let's say 7. Let me just do it in line 1 and then 7. Okay, so you have to color the dots like that. So it's between 1 and 7, and the other one is between minus 9 all the way to 8. So, um, Hmm, this one's interesting because you got x square over y, so the smallest possible value. So uh, it's not possible to get a negative smallest possible value because you got x square here, and then whatever negative number you square it, you get positive. So it doesn't make sense to uh, do that, and your final answer won't be a negative number. So you want to look at something that's more than zero or zero itself. Okay. So um, so let's try. So let's say uh, one sin. Um, let's let's do the denominator first. So um, the bigger the denom denominator, the smaller the number, right? Because if you think about it, one over three is definitely bigger than one over seven, correct? Or or half is bigger than one over seven. So you want the denominator to be like really big. Okay, so you put seven here. But you realize that if I put 1, 1 over 7, hmm, 7 square, yeah, okay, it's small. If I put try a bigger one, 4 over 7, so you, you won't go up this way, right? So you'll go maybe try down. Uh, why not try 0, right? 0 is definitely smaller than 1 over 7, right? Right, so... Therefore, you conclude that um, zero is the smallest possible one. Okay, so this is this kind of question is a question whereby you have to try and test, and you have to be very sensitive to numbers. Okay, in your mind, when fractions numbers comes out, you need to think that okay, so the denominator at the bottom is big, so therefore the whole number will be a small. Okay, then the next part, uh, part B, right? We want to find the largest possible value of y minus 2x. So, um, okay. So, when it comes to this kind of thing, you want a big number. y has to be big, okay? Right? Makes sense? y has to be big. And then minus 2x. So, you realize that x can be negative. So, negative and negative here, right, will give you positive. So, you can actually change the sign to plus, right? So, if I put in x as minus 9, right, I'll get 7 plus 18, which gives me 25, so this is the highest, okay, um, don't even think that, okay, maybe x is 0, then the highest is uh, 7, no, it's always good to um, try, test out all the numbers even, uh, but I would say like this kind of question during uh, O levels is quite uh, it's usually like one mark, or if it's really difficult, they'll give you two marks max. It's it's good not to spend too much time on it, trying to like, you know, try and test it. Uh, but again, um, I think most people will get this kind of question correct. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your time. I'll uh, see you in our next lesson. Okay, bye.